Yeah, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Alpine King Carter here. Welcome to the last episode of The Rise. Now with that being said, it is not the last episode of the demo. I will be playing some live events with other people. Try to get together a few YouTubers to play with me in some live events as well. But the reason that this is the last episode of The Rise is because it's the end, man. Um, they don't let you advance past this last game against Joel and B. After that, there are some things that you can do after once you get the full game. And I'll talk to you guys about that once the uh, game is over. But for the most part, man, I'm just going to go ahead and open up this private run pack. This was from the last uh, episode. If you did miss that, make sure you guys check that one out, man. It is inside the description, inside the chat, as well as in the NBA Live 19 playlist. They gave me the uh, Oladipo Flex. Pretty good little animation after I do a dunk or a layup or anything like that. Coming up, watching the one got invited to a private run with some pros and showed up. Yo, my phone has been blowing up. My feed is blowing up. I don't even know how the one got an invite. Nobody can stop the one. The internet is going insane. It's about talent, it's about determination, it's about work ethic. So it doesn't matter where he came from. The bottom line is this, the one could take on five Joel Embiid's with those traits that he has and still win. Stephen A, all I'm saying is the kid comes out of nowhere, does well overseas with some NBA players, yes, but in a private run. A private run. No one's going all out under those conditions. You know no one's trying to risk injury before the season even there starts. There you go, wet blanket in the truth, just glossing over the issues to serve your own purposes. I'm so surprised. No, I'm so surprised. No, no, it is not the truth. That's the point. Not yet. Go get Embiid. Beat Embiid. Then it'll be the truth. Until then, this is a nice topic on a slow news day. I don't know you. Max Kellerman, I do not know. Who are you? Embiid's court, Embiid's crew, Embiid's rules. Not good odds for the one, Stephen A. Got to have faith, Max. No. You got to have faith, man. I know. I got faith in the process. I trust the process. Oh, Lord. All right, guys. So it's time to get into the game. We are heading to Joel Embiid's court. If you guys remember from the last episode, I played up against Aladipo in my court. But this time, man, they want to go ahead and put my powers to the test. I guess they don't understand how nice I am, how nice my team could be. I got Ann Davis, Aldridge. I got Candace Parker and James Harden. We about to murder these dudes, bro. Hey, make sure you guys like, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Let's get into the game. You're facing off against one of the top centers in the game today. The future of the league. And you're playing on his court, under his rules, against his squad. Show him your team is better. Show him you own this court. Show him you're the one. All right, people. So, uh, first observation, man. Embiid is clearly out here cheating. Look at his court, man. I am the blue player, and yet I can't see who I'm guarding or what I'm doing out here, man. Luckily, we grab a rebound right there, but Jesus Christ, Embiid. There's so much going on on this court, man. I know, like... Look, I'm stepping on your toes right now. That's how crazy this court is. But I get the assist right there, man. How many people will create courts like this where, you know, you try to throw people off of, you know, who to, who to guard and stuff like that? Darn, Paul George, you ain't have to dunk on me like that, though. But, like, man, this court is insane. But check me out, cutting to the basket, giving it the, oh, my God, Ed Davis. How in the heck did he jump from there? I just got a question. You know what I'm saying? How did he do that? But check the floater game. Couldn't get it to go, but it's all good, man, because we're about to get this turnover real quick. Give me them cookies. We out on a break real quick. Hey, Aldridge, I said we out on a break. See how they do me, man? They don't even want to push the ball, but I cut to the basket. Oh, and Embiid, you can't stop the left hand. Watch me work, baby. But yeah, man, it's 7-7. Seven seven. Uh, Embiid's rules are pretty crazy. Uh, for blocks, I believe they're a point. And I believe dunks are three points. But it's all good, man. We're going to come out here and get this win. But Ant Davis out here saving my life as he gets three points for that dunk right there. Now, like I told you guys, man, I got Candace Parker, Aldridge, Ant Davis, and James Harden. But I don't need none of them as I cut to the basket right there for that dunk. Now, uh, one thing that I can say, though, uh, I think they got Deladon uh, on uh, their team. And she been getting stripped like all game. 
Like, you guys are going to see it here, man. But moving into halftime, look at the score right now. It's 15 to 10. We are 6 for 12, but they're only 3 for 7. They've been getting a lot of dunks popping, man. Now, check the screens, y'all. I'm telling y'all right now, man. The screens work to perfection. If you ain't setting screens out here as a, like a shooting guard, small forward, power forward, the center, you got a problem, man. But check out Ann Davis as he gets that block right there. Let's see if he gets rewarded. Heck no, because I'm right at Steph Curry. Chin. Hey, listen. Going up with the left. It's ice cream. I'm just going to go ahead and put it out there, man. Now, if you guys didn't notice, man, we are playing four quarters, but they're only two-minute quarters. But check out Ant Davis. Oh, my. Yo, listen. Why is he like the complete player right now? He getting steals. He getting blocks. He going on fast breaks. What is up with this dude? I don't know, man, but I'm trying to be out on the break. Aldridge out here playing with my life, man. So, you know, I'm trying to cut. And I do a step back. Now, that step back should have went in, but Ant Davis saves me again. I wish that... I was able to control like my mid-range jump shot straight starting out with my player instead of receiving it after I get to a certain level because I would want my mid-range to be kind of high because those step backs are clean. Now talking about mid-ranges, your boy got that dot on him, you hear me? It's the end of the third quarter, splash that thing right between PG eyes, pause. Now PG, he had to get me back here, man, I ain't even gonna lie, look, I tried to jump up on him real quick, he said, uh-uh, excuse me, step back, ooh, <laughs> now I tried to go for the steal because I thought that he was gonna keep driving, nah, not at all, he did that step back right in my face, hand down, man down, but I cut to the basket and then bead, I, he was watching the ball the entire time, he was literally ball hawking and couldn't stop that pass to the paint, check out the replay, look, he ball hawking, look, 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 Excuse me. Oh my goodness. How did you not see me, bro? Stop it. Now check out Embiid backing down. What is you doing, fam? Wrong move. Uh-oh. PG for three. That's cash out. Listen, you cannot leave PG open at all. But you know what, though? I'm going to go ahead and get him back as I break those ankles. Excuse me. Left hand God out here, man. Now we got about a minute left in this game. And PG, please, man, lace up your sneakers. You can't guard me, fam. Just can't. Now, check this out, man. We got 48 seconds left. I'm trying to put the moves on. They double teaming. You know what that mean, right? That mean your boy hot like Tabasco. You know what I'm saying? That's how nice I am now. I get the kick out. I try to pull up, but it's a moving shot, so it doesn't go down. But Ant Davis, another three points with that dunk, man. Shout out to Embiid's rules. <laughs> now, it's 40 to 20. The game is almost over, but you know, we can't end it on that note, man. Had to let Aldridge get a taste of something, man. You know what I mean. Gotta let him get a bucket. Why not? But this game is almost over, man. And I also wanted to talk to you guys about some of the features that you guys will be seeing in a full game on NBA Live 19. Now, check this out. After this game, I will earn Joel Embiid's card. It's going to be after a couple cutscenes and stuff like that. But basically, after you get done this and it goes into the one, you have a chance to go into the NBA draft and you also have a chance to go into pro and world tours. Now, those are two different options. That's league and that's streets, right? So when you go into the streets, go into pro and world tour, you earn players just like how I earned Joel Embiid on his court. Now, as you're earning players, you're playing as yourself. Now, if you want to play on the one court that's private matchmaking, that's going up against other players and stuff like that, that is totally separate from court battles. But you are allowed to use the same players that you earn from Pro and World Tours on both. You can use those players on the one court for if you want to play up against the CPU, and you can use it in court battles to set up your defensive teams and set up your offensive team to take over other people's courts. But after I show you guys that, I'm also going to talk to you guys a little bit more about Pro and World Tours and why you want to play that mode first over court battles. All right. So right now, I'm just going to go ahead and open up this crate. This is from Joel Embiid's uh, demise, I guess you can call it. They let me get a 76ers basketball for my one court, but that's pretty dope, man. But let's go ahead and watch a couple of these cutscenes real quick, and then I'll be right back to talk to you guys more on the Pro Am World Tours. The one killed it last night. He beat Joe and Embiid and his crew on their own home court. It looked like that year the one took off really paid off. Because you really just don't beat Embiid without putting in that work. And tonight, the one definitely put in that work. He's not the same player he was a year ago. I mean, he was good then, but he's great now. Whatever he decides to do next, he's going to dominate. Facts. I'm out. <laughs>
What's good, y'all? This is Joel Embiid. You just beat me on my court. You know, I really respect your game. Keep doing your thing. You know, you'll be the one one day. All right, guys, now that I'm back, I can go ahead and get this video done and over with. So basically, the reason why I say do pro and world tours first is because if you beat all the pro and world tours and you come back to the court battles as a full overall player playing a lot of streets, I'm telling you guys right now, your player depth is going to be insane. You know what I'm saying? You're going to be able to have players on your squad that fit some of the rule sets that you will put on your court battles. So, me personally, I'm definitely going to be playing Pro and World Tour so I can earn good players instead of having to purchase them with my RP. I'm going to be stacking my RP for all of my clothing, all of my sneakers, all that type of stuff. I'm not going to be paying for players too much with the uh, weekly uh, players and, and crates and stuff like that from the uh, court battles. So I'm telling you guys, man, it's really up to you. But uh, check out NB stats right here, man. This is the player that I'm going to be using in Pro and World Tours mainly until he gets an upgrade. Peace, guys. Let me see you, this is just the start of your basketball legacy. Now, where do you want to go next to prove you're the one? Enter the league to become an NBA superstar and champion. Travel the world in the streets to dominate pickup runs in Pro-Am. Or challenge the community in all new court battles by building your squad, defending your custom court, and taking over others. Rise to the top of each area to become a basketball icon and earn what it means to be called the one. All right, guys, this is the end of the video. I hope you guys definitely enjoy this video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and you can also watch one of my previous videos after hitting that subscribe button. I hope you guys like this video. Let's get this thing to 5,000 likes. And this is your boy IKC signing out. Peace.